Hey everyone, in this video I will teach you how to install Python libraries into the PyCharm IDE. This is a compilation video in which I will demonstrate to you how to install various Python libraries through examples, which you can then use to install any Python library you may need in PyCharm. I hope you enjoy the video. Hey everyone, in this video I will show you how to install SciPy to the PyCharm IDE. First, I just want to speak a little bit about what SciPy is. SciPy essentially puts the very useful NumPy package that we have been learning about and puts it on steroids. By this I mean we gain access to a lot of commands and classes that allow us to better utilize and understand our data. Now, to add SciPy to our PyCharm IDE, we must first open our Python file in which we want to import SciPy. Then, we go to New Project Settings and select Preferences for New Projects. From here, on the left menu bar, you should see Project Interpreter. At the top, you should see Project Interpreter. Just go ahead and select the one in which you need SciPy for. Please note that if you select the incorrect one, you will not be able to import SciPy. You need to make sure the location you are working corresponds to the interpreter that you select here in the menu. So, once we pick our Project Interpreter, let's go to the small plus sign in the bottom left corner. Now, we are going to search for SciPy package. Then select SciPy and click Install. Now, we should be good to exit the screen once it shows you that the package has installed correctly. Let's just type a small piece of sample code that ensures everything is working correctly. This sample code is just a simple integration, which is one of the many things we can do now in SciPy. Let's type from scipy.integrate import quad. This just imports the part of our newly installed SciPy package that will allow us to integrate a function. So, let's create a simple function that we want to integrate. Let's say 4x to the power of 2. Then, we need a simple function that will interpret our string function as a proper mathematical expression. Now, we need to call the quad Python function, which allows for a basic simple integration. So, we put quad, our function of interest, and our two bounds of our definite integral. Then, we can just print the result of the integration, and there we go. We just completed an integration using SciPy. The first result here is our area under our curve, and the second number is the error of this integration, since it uses numerical methods and not analytical methods. I hope this video helped you install SciPy into your PyCharm IDE. Hey everyone, in this video I will show you how to install matplotlib to the PyCharm IDE. First, I just want to speak a little bit about what matplotlib is. Matplotlib is a way for you to visualize data within Python. So, we can take some data and create graphs and charts out of it. So, through this, we can take in data from a file or enter it into our code and create whatever data visualization we need. Now, to add matplotlib to our PyCharm IDE, we must first open our Python file in which we want to import matplotlib. Then we go to New Project Settings and select Preferences for New Projects. From here, on the left menu bar, you should see Project Interpreter. At the top again, you will see Project Interpreter. Just go ahead and select the one in which you need matplotlib for. Please note that if you select the incorrect one, you will not be able to import matplotlib. You need to make sure that the location you're working on corresponds to the interpreter you select here in the menu. So, once we pick our project interpreter, let's go to the small plus sign in the bottom left corner. Now we are just going to search for our package that we want. Then we select matplotlib and click install package. Now, we should be good to exit the screen once it shows you that the package has installed correctly. Now, let's just type a sample piece of code to ensure that everything is working correctly. Let's type import matplotlib.pyplot. This just imports the part of the newly installed matplotlib package and will allow us to create simple graphs in Python using pyplot. Pyplot is modeled after MATLAB, so the graphs that you will generate here should look familiar if you've ever used MATLAB before. So, to test that we have matplotlib installed properly, let's use a simple bit of code that can create a very simple graph. So, let's just throw in some values here into a tuple and use this as our sample data. Then, you can just copy these lines here to validate that matplotlib was installed properly into your PyCharm IDE. Hey everyone, in this video I will show you how to install Kinter to your PyCharm IDE. First, I just want to speak a little bit about what Kinter is. Kinter is a way for you to build graphical user interfaces, GUIs, in Python relatively easily. 
There will be a link in the description below for a playlist where I will teach you all the fundamentals of making GUIs in Kinter. Now, to add Kinter to our PyCharm IDE, we must first open our Python file in which we want to import Kinter. Then, we go to New Project Settings and select the preferences for our new project. From here on the left menu bar, you should see Project Interpreter. At the top, you should see Project Interpreter. Just go ahead and select the one in which you need Kinter for. Please note that if you select the incorrect one here, you will not be able to import Kinter. So you just need to make sure that the location you're working corresponds to the interpreter you select in the menu here. So once we pick our Python interpreter, let's go to the small plus sign in the bottom left corner. Now we are going to search for a future package. Select future and click install package. Now we should be good to exit the screen once it shows you that the package has installed correctly. Now let's just type a sample piece of code to ensure that everything is working correctly. Let's type from Kinter and import asterisk. The asterisk is just meaning to import all of Kinter. So to test that we have Kinter installed properly, let's use this simple bit of code to create a white pop-up box. We create our main window using main equals tk for Kinter. Then, since a GUI is just a continually looping program, we can cause this to occur by main dot main loop brackets. Now, running this program, you can see that we receive our simple window here, which means Kinter is running properly. Hi everyone, in this quick video, I want to show you how to install NumPy to the PyCharm IDE. First, I just want to speak a little bit about what NumPy is. NumPy stands for Numerical Python, and is an excellent way to deal with arrays and just large amounts of data in general within Python. So, to add NumPy to our PyCharm IDE, we first open our Python file in which we want to import NumPy. Then, we go to the New Project Settings and select Preferences for New Projects. From here, on the left menu bar, you should see Project Interpreter. At the top, you should see Project Interpreter. Just go ahead and select the one in which you need NumPy for. Please note that if you select the incorrect one, you will not be able to import NumPy you need to make sure that the location you are working corresponds to the interpreter you select here in the menu. So, once we pick our Python interpreter, let's go to the small plus sign in the bottom left corner. Now, we are going to search for the NumPy package. Then, select NumPy and click Install Package. Now, we should be good to exit this screen once it shows you package has installed correctly. Now, let's just type a sample piece of code to ensure that everything is working correctly. Let's type import numpy as np. This just means when we want to call the package numpy, we only need to refer to it as np, which makes our code look much better and allows us to code slightly quicker. Then we can enter a variable and add a matrix like so. Then when we print this, we should see that we have a three by two matrix. This means that we have installed numpy correctly. If you receive an error that states module numpy has no attribute array, do not worry, I also had this error. Just go to your finder window and search for numpy.py. There should be a file with that name, just change it to anything else and your code should run without problems. Thank you for checking out this video and I hope it helped you getting started with numpy and PyCharm. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to support the channel. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information that I have provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.